Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Learn Nursing Easy. If you are the first time watching my video, please like, share, subscribe and click the notification button and stay tuned. Today let us see a nursing care plan on seizures. Seizures is a nut control abnormal electrical activity of the neurons where the patient will show fits and convulsions. So when there is convulsion, patients can fall and it can cause trauma or injuries. I made a diagnosis risk for trauma or injury related to uncontrolled repetitive activity and loss of consciousness second it abnormal electrical discharges in the neurons our goal is to prevent injury in intervention you'll be assessing the cost type duration and frequency of seizure activity so that based on the cost we can provide intervention monitor the post ectal that is post seizures level of consciousness and physiological symptoms like drooling of saliva incontinence etc so that we can identify and treat the complications early and we have to perform a neurological assessment and also continuously monitor the vital signs so that we can identify the neurological status and hemodynamic status of the client to provide a calm conducive environment so that it can prevent triggers of seizures use then any tight clothing around the neck so this will prevent injury and suffocation and we have to provide complete bed rest and put on the side rails and make the patient in lateral position with head to and to one side so this will prevent aspiration of secretions and also prevent injury from falling down oxygen therapy should be administered in case the patient is having suffocation and while the patient is having seizure activity we must not restrain the patient but we have to see that patient is not hitting it to any sharp objects so you have to remove any sharp objects near the patient's environment you have to administer anti-epileptic drugs so this will induce sleep and prevent seizure activity so that we can prevent injury do not leave the client alone but keep monitoring the client for further seizure episodes so this will provide comfort and prevent injury and advise the client to avoid activities like driving swimming boating and handling dangerous tools so this all will precipitate seizures so that we can prevent the Injury. In evaluation, you have to see whether client prevented any episodes of injury. And next, patients with seizures, so they will have drooling of saliva. So I made a diagnosis in effective airway clearance related to inability to expectorate secretion, secondary to altered sensorium and depressed reflexes. Our goal is to maintain a clear airway. In intervention, you will be obtaining a thorough seizure history and you have to perform a comprehensive neurological assessment and monitor the vital signs and auscultate the lung feeds for any changes in the breath sound. So after identifying if needed, we have to start oxygen therapy and at night time patient may go for obstructive sleep apnea. So we have to monitor that and start oxygen at night time and provide adequate ventilation of the room and restrict visitors so this will prevent suffocation and ventilate the client and complete the bed rest in left lateral position with head turned to one side should be provided so this will prevent aspiration of secretion to insert an esophageal or oral airway as prescribed so this will prevent tongue falling back and aspiration of secretions and we have to provide suctioning every 15 to 30 minutes so this will clear the airway and relieve secretion deep breathing cuffing exercises should be taught when patient is awake and has no seizure activity so this will help to expectorate and remove the secretion and psychological support and reassurance should be provided so this will relieve anxiety caused by suffocation in evaluation you have to see whether client airway is cleared the next patients with seizures due to unconsciousness and also due to lack of airway clearance there will be risk for aspiration related to changes in the sensorium and inability to expect trace secretion our goal is to prevent aspiration and regain swallowing reflex in intention will be obtaining a thorough seizure history and perform neurological assessment and monitor the lung fields for any advertentious breath sounds so this will help to identify if there is any risk for aspiration and we have to assess the triggering factors of seizures and avoid them so this will prevent seizure activity so that it can prevent aspiration and remove dentures or any loose teeth in the mouth so that this will prevent accidental aspiration of teeth and provide complete bed rest with head turned to one side so that secretions will come out and it will not be aspirated and we have to put oropharyngeal airway and do suctioning as needed so this will relieve the secretion and prevent aspiration and do not leave the client but keep monitoring the client for any complications so that we can early identify and treat complications. Administer drugs as prescribed judiciously and do not overuse the drugs so which can prevent dizziness and drowsiness that is a cause of aspiration and energy feeding should be given when patient is drowsy so this can prevent aspiration 
and all emergency articles should be kept at the birth site so that in case of any emergency related to aspiration we can meet them in evaluation you have to see whether client prevented aspiration next when patient is having seizures suffocation patient will have fear and anxiety so i made a diagnosis anxiety related to the chronic illness and sudden neurological changes leading to fear and emotional instability our goal is to relieve the anxiety so in intervention you will obtain the seizure history and identify the level of anxiety so that based on the level of anxiety we can provide treatment to provide a calm and comfortable environment and place inside laying position and remove all tight clothing around the neck so this will prevent suffocation and thereby relieve anxiety and we have to monitor the neurological status and vital signs so this will identify the baseline data and also see the consciousness and emotional of the patient and do not leave the client alone but be with the client and give therapeutic touch so this will relieve anxiety reorient the time to time place and person so this will regain memory and improve the cognition psychological support should be provided by introducing the client to other person who have same disease but progressing well so this will relieve the anxiety and provide comfort we assure that all measures are done in order to protect the safety of the client so this will relieve anxiety spiritual support is given in order to promote hope and we have to encourage the client to express their feelings and concern and provide appropriate feedback so this will relieve anxiety and we have to administer anti seizure and anxiolytic drugs so this will induce sleep and relieve anxiety and educate the family members to support the patient and engage them in physical activity so that client will develop coping skills in evaluation you have to see whether the anxiety was relieved next patients with repetitive seizure activity they will have uh, tiredness and exhaustion in the postictal periods so i made a diagnosis fatigue related to repetitive seizure activity leading to muscle twitching and exhaustion in the postictal period our goal is to relieve the fatigue intervention will be assessing the cause of fatigue so that according to the cause we can provide treatment and we have to carefully obtain the seizure history and do a neurological assessment and check the muscle pass so this will help to identify the baseline data to start interventions and we have to provide complete bed rest in a calm conducive environment so this will calm the client and control seizure episodes and also relieve fatigue all nursing measures should be done at the bedside of the patient so this will meet activities of daily living and avoid exertion do not leave the client alone but be with the client and watch for prognosis so this will help to identify any emergencies and meet them to provide liquid or semi solid diet with sources of carbohydrate and vitamins when patient is conscious if patient is not conscious then we have to feed by ing feeding so this will improve the energy and relieve fatigue anti epileptic drugs are given in order to control seizures and relieve fatigue and multivitamins are given in order to provide energy and we have to educate the client to do mild physical activity at home and avoid heavy work so this will relieve fatigue okay, the client and family members that fatigue is temporary and it will last only few hours after the seizure so this will provide reassurance and ability to perform activities of daily living evaluation you have to see whether the client's fatigue was relieved okay patient with seizures they will have changes in the vision and also in the postictal period they will have incontinence of urine or feces so i made a diagnosis disturbed sensory perception related to neuronal dysfunction second due to changes in the metabolic biochemical and electrical activity of the brain okay, our goal is to exhibit a normal sensory perception so prevention will monitor the seizure episodes and cause of sensory dysfunction so that we have, according to the cause we can provide intervention we have to monitor the neurological status and vital signs of the client so that based on the baseline data we can provide intervention and reorient the client to time place and environment so this will help to regain consciousness and we have to monitor the visual acuity of the client and if there is any changes we have to provide appropriate intervention in all laboratory investigations and imaging studies as prescribed so this can help to identify the exact cause of seizures and provide treatment to reassure the client that the sensory dysfunction is temporary so that it will provide positive reinforcement and promote confidence and if patient is having bed wetting we have to provide perineal hygiene or urinary catheterization or use disposable pads so this will prevent soiling of the linen and also provide comfort okay, teach about pelvic floor exercises so this will help to gain control over bowel and bladder and administer anti epileptic drugs as prescribed so this will induce sleep and prevent seizures and advise a client to avoid the potential triggers like alcohol and to get good sleep so this will prevent seizures and promote the sensory function in evaluation you have to see whether the client sensory function was regained okay next patient with seizures due to the chronicity of disease and also need for lifelong 
treatment and also because of the social stigma they will have low self esteem so i made a diagnosis situational low self esteem related to social stigma or misconception about the seizure activities again it took the psychiatric or bedelness our goal is to improve the self esteem okay, in intervention you will assess the client's feeling about self so this will help to identify the feelings and there will provide intervention and encourage the client to identify strength and perform activities according to their ability so this will facilitate their intrinsic value okay, assist the client in setting realistic goals based on their ability and help them to achieve independent care so this will promote a sense of well-being and satisfaction and advise the family members to help the client in promoting self care so this will promote independence psychological support should be provided in order to gain confidence and facilitate the feeling of self worth family members friends and community should be educated about the misconception related to the disease and promote positive behaviors positive reinforcement is given this will promote the sense of satisfaction and improve the coping skills and advise the client the need for lifelong intervention and instruct the client to follow the medications as prescribed so this will avoid exacerbations of the disease okay, and encourage the client to develop positive coping behaviors and adopt to the treatment so this will promote self esteem as the client to participate in relaxation strategies and leisure activities so this will promote the sense of self worth and promote self esteem evaluation you have to see whether client self esteem and self image was improved the final diagnosis is deficient knowledge regarding the chronic recurrent illness its therapeutic interventions and long term home care management our goal is to provide knowledge intervention you will assess the ability to understand instruction and based on their level of understanding and uh, language we have to provide instruction and educate the client and family members about the stages and types of seizures and the physical symptoms so the client can identify and notify the physician and we have to educate on the cause of seizures and advise the client to perform laboratory and imaging studies regularly so this will identify the cause and take necessary therapeutic measures and advise the client about the need for lifelong treatment and adhere to the treatment protocol so this will prevent recurrence of seizures educate okay, the client and family members about the home care management and tell the client to wear the id band mentioning seizures while going outdoors so that whenever patient has any seizure activity in the outdoors they can be referred to the appropriate hospital to provide a balanced diet and advise the client to maintain adequate hygiene so this will promote general health of the client educate the family members and community regarding the social stigma and misconception about seizures so that it will raise awareness in the community and avoid social stigma and educate the family members to inform the school or college authorities about the history of seizures and consulting physician in case of any seizure episodes they can consult the physician and assess the client support systems and introduce the client to self help groups if the client is not having adequate support systems okay, advise the client to come for regular follow up services and do further investigation so this will aid in continuity of treatment and recovery and if the client is having any comorbid diseases then we have to refer them to the appropriate physician so this will help to treat the actual cause of seizures and aid in recovery and provide a booklet regarding do's and don'ts in case of seizures so that client and family members can read the booklet and follow instructions at home evaluation you have to see whether client gain knowledge i hope you have understood my class thank you for listening please like share subscribe and click the notification button and stay tuned